The Move Prover is a formal verification system for smart contracts on the Libra blockchain. The smart contracts are written in a Move language with features that ensure safety and facilitate easier verification. Using the Move Prover, developers can specify both local properties, including the pre-post conditions and aborting conditions of individual functions, as well as global properties applicable to the entire module. The specifications along with the move bytecode are translated to the Boogie Intermediate Verification Language, which calls an SMT solver to check for satisfiability. Then the prover interprets the Boogie output and either returns with no errors or produces counterexamples with error messages on the source code level. For more information and examples, check out our presentation. Have you heard about Ethereum 2.0? And are you interested in becoming a stakeholder of Ethereum 2.0 and get a nice reward in every 10 minutes? Then our paper is for you. Hi, my name is Dejan Park. I'm going to talk about how we formally verified one of the most critical smart contracts for Ethereum 2.0. It is called deposit contract and you need to deposit your Ether in this contract to become a stakeholder. So it better be correct. Come to my talk Wednesday morning if you want to know more. I will see you there. Thank you. Hi, I'm Pablo Gordilla and I'm going to present our work Synthesis of Super Optimized Smart Contracts using Max SMT on July 22nd. I'm going to show you our method to super optimize EVM bytecode. We take the uh, sequence of EVM instructions and produce a description of the initial and the target stack before and after executing the sequence of instructions. And we use this description to generate a max SMT encoding that allows us to infer automatically a new sequence of EVM instructions that produce the same stack, but, uh, but this sequence consumes less gas than the original one. So it allows us to save money. See you there. At Amazon Web Services, we recently launched a free service based on automated reasoning. Users of this service review findings about their access control policies and either fix them or mark the findings as intentional. In truth, users are doing formal verification without actively knowing about formal verification. They're interactively specifying the correctness for their access control. The response has been overwhelming with people praising not just the power of automated reasoning, but its ease of use. This is possible because we've inverted the traditional verification approach. Instead of requiring humans to specify correctness up front, we use stratified predicate abstraction to do automatic specification, and we let users review the results. In this talk, I'll explain the foundations of our new approach to automated reasoning and how it makes formal verification accessible to a much broader audience present a novel technique for the verification of quantitative hyperproperties. You may be familiar with hyperproperties like secure information flow, which is essentially a two safety property. Quantitative hyperproperties take hyperproperties one step further and allows us to express bounds on the number of traces, enabling us to prove properties such as quantitative non-interference and quantitative deniability. Consider the following example of a quantitative hyperproperty, which states that for every trace of the system, there must exist exponentially many other traces with identical observations and pairwise different secrets. We see that this formula has exponential size and quantifier alternation, which makes it very difficult and challenging to verify. Due to this, the prior works on verifying quantitative hyperproperties time out on very small programs. In this work, we show how to address these challenges and also prove it for arbitrary value of system parameters. Thanks, and see you on July 22nd for the full talk. Hello, everyone. Our work deals with the validation of side channel leakage models for processors. Like in the soundness visualization on the left, predicted zero leakage in the model has to imply zero gain for an attacker using the actual side channel. But because of the complexity of modern processors, it is hard to verify whether the widely used side channel models are indeed sound abstractions or not. So it is not too surprising that regularly new attacks emerge and break established side channel abstractions. We propose the validation framework SCAMV, which searches the huge space of mesh and states to find interesting inputs to check this implication. 
We evaluated SCAMV with a simple processor and simple observation models, and already relatively few experiments contain quite unexpected and interesting counterexamples to this implication. The implementation of our validation framework is available as artifact, and we hope that you are interested and will join the presentation. Thank you. Hello, my name is Christina Miller, and I will be talking about fast and guaranteed safe controller synthesis for nonlinear vehicle models. And so here's our problem formulation. We will have some nonlinear dynamical system, and this could be any vehicle model, such as a car. And the specifications we will be synthesizing controllers for are reach of voice specifications. Here, the starting set is shown in blue, the goal set is shown in green, and the unsafe set is shown in red. And so we want to find a controller that will drive any system in the starting set to the goals to reach the goal set, while also avoiding the unsafe obstacles. We implement this in a tool called Factist. Factist stands for Fast Controller Synthesis, and it is artifact evaluated. So the website and the GitHub for this tool are shown on screen now. And here are some of the results that we got. We show that we can synthesize controllers in both 2D and 3D scenarios. We can also quickly synthesize controllers for complex scenarios. And finally, we can find subsets of the initial set where a controller will be safe for all. Hello, this is a teaser for the CAV paper titled Reachability Analysis of Nonlinear Systems Using Message Passing Over Tree Decompositions. This paper talks about reachability analysis of nonlinear dynamical system defined by a nonlinear model. The goal is starting from an initial set of states. We want to prove that some unsafe set is not reachable within some time capital T. So in this paper, we are going to use a tree decomposition abstract domain, wherein we are going to define a way by which you can take high dimensional sets and project them onto different subsets of dimensions uh, using something called a tree decomposition. We show how you can propagate information from one tree node to another, and using this idea of message passing, we can actually make this uh, representation much more refined. And we show a reachability analysis that's exponential in the tree width, not in the number of variables. We also show some implementation and experimental evaluation. So I hope to see you in my talk. Thank you. The title of our paper is A Novel Approach for Solving the BMI Problem in Barrier Certificates Generation. The authors are Xin Chen, Chao Peng, Wang Ni, Zheng Feng Yang, Yi Fan Zhang, and Xuan Dong Ni. In this paper, we make the following conclusions. We propose a sequential scheme SIS BMI for solving the BMI problem which is derived from the barrier certificate generation of nonlinear hybrid systems. Compared with the algorithm in PMI, the total cost in each iteration is reduced from quadric to cubic. Our method provides much stronger capability in solving the special PMI problem than PMI and SOS tools, and is more efficient than PMI. Hello everyone, in CAP 2020 we will present a new tool for reachability analysis called Perk. Perk uses massively parallel compute platforms to compute over approximations of forward reachable sets for high dimensional nonlinear systems. When we say high dimensional, we mean it. Perk uses three simulation based methods to compute approximations with interval geometry. The computation load is mostly ODE integration, so we parallelize the computation by parallelizing ODE integration. We used the p-phases acceleration ecosystem for parallelization. This lets PERC run on heterogeneous compute platforms like clusters of GPUs and CPUs. We present case studies from applications where high-dimensional systems arise naturally, such as discretized nonlinear PDEs and swarms of agents with nonlinear dynamics. For densely coupled systems, PERC efficiently computes reachable sets for hundreds of thousands of states. For sparse systems, PERC can compute reachable sets for billion dimensional systems in less than an hour. Stay tuned and see you in CAV 2020. Verify is a toolkit for formal analysis and design of AI-based systems, which we've applied in a broad range of domains. Here, we present an integrated case study on an experimental neural network-based taxiing system developed at Boeing, demonstrating a complete design iteration for the system. We formally model the system and its environment, using the model to generate test scenarios and perform falsification, finding many cases of undesirable behaviors. We use the data collected by Verify to debug these failures, identifying several different root causes, such as the neural network being confused by shadows under certain time and weather conditions. 
Finally, we use Verify to generate a new training set for the network, eliminating several bugs and dramatically improving performance overall without increasing training set size. To learn more, please come to our talk. Hello everyone, and welcome to the talk about Aeon, a tool for attractor analysis of parameterized Boolean networks. A big part of biology is about making decisions. Every split second, your cells decide what structures they should grow, what substances they should produce, and when they should reproduce or die. In biology, modeling decision-making is critical to understand the behavior of the cells. However, it is often impossible to know the exact logical rules of such behavior. With Aeon, we can design parameterized Boolean networks based on the high-level knowledge about the system and symbolically analyze their long-term behavior. Using this approach, we are able to examine attractors of real partially unknown biological networks with millions of states and up to 2 to the 50 possible parameterizations. For years, property directed bridgeability, also known as IC3, is an efficient approach for model checking finite state transition systems. Its generalization to constraint home classes enables efficient analysis of infinite state systems such as software and hybrid systems. State-of-the-art CHC solvers, such as Spacer, iteratively explore deeper sets of proof obligations, learning lemmas locally by blocking it. While effective, this approach can be brittle due to many local failures of the generalization use. In this paper, we introduce a framework for global generalization in Spacer defined by three global generalization rules. We instantiate the rules for the theory of linear integer arithmetic. The three global generalizations, targeting both lemma and proof of location spaces, significantly improve the robustness and scalability of Spacer and outperform existing data-driven approaches. We look forward to seeing you virtually during our CAF talk and discussing our paper. Thank you. Hello, I am Vasilis and I am a PhD student at the University of Sussex. The emergence of programmable networks with softwareized control plane intelligence enables more automatic provisioning and policy-based management of network resources. At the risk, though, of introducing subtle bugs that make troublesome controller programs. The automatic deduction of bugs or even better verification of their absence is thus most desirable. Yet, the size of the network and the complexity of the controller makes this a challenging undertaking. In this work, we propose MOX, a highly expressive optimized software-defined network model that allows capturing subtle real-world bugs in a reasonable amount of time. This is a semi-deterministic Bouchy automaton. If we highlight non-deterministic choices, we can see that the automaton can be split in two parts, a deterministic part that contains all accepting cycles and a non-deterministic part that cannot be reached from accepting states. Since it's not fully deterministic, it can be built from any non-deterministic Bouchy automaton and it can be smaller than an equivalent deterministic automaton. Seminator is the tool that provides such a transformation. Because the accepting part is deterministic, semi-deterministic automata are easier to complement than non-deterministic ones. Version 2 of Seminator now implements such a complementation. 
If you wonder whether complementation via semi-determination can be better than direct complementation, listen to the full talk. Hi everybody, my name is Jan Baumeister and in my talk I'm going to present the results of our industrial case study. We integrated a hardware-based monitor that is built out of the Artilula framework in an unmanned aircraft. Using monitoring, we verify the system's correctness during its flight and can notify the safety pilot in case of a false execution. During the talk, I give an overview of the case study concerning three major considerations for the integration and the resulting monitors. First, cyber-physical systems have limited resources. For this, the monitor has to be fast but also efficient. Additionally, the integration needs to be highly reliable because any interference of the monitor of the aircraft's normal operation could have fatal consequences. Last, I give you a short overview of the considered properties, which showed that the specification language is expressive enough to monitor autonomous systems. Hello everyone and welcome to the teaser for the tool AdamMC. AdamMC is a model checker for distributed systems where we can separate the control from the local data flow part. As model, we consider PetriNet with transits. So on the control side, we have a standard PetriNet. And for the local data flow part, we refine the flow relation of the PetriNet. As specification language, we consider flow LTL. Um, so we have standard LTL to reason about the control part. So for example, we can select runs, fair and maximal runs, and then reason about the local data flow of these runs again with, uh, with standard LTL. All this is reduced to a hardware model checking problem, so we reduce it to a circuit and give it to ABC. As an application, we consider software-defined networks and could show that our new reduction method significantly reduces um, the runtime of the tool compared to a previous prototype. The tool is available online. And